Everyone assumes I'm ass at this game, but I'm a D1 Valorant player. Don't don't look at me. I know what you're thinking. He's D1. What does he know? Look here, you little shit. Yes, there are people that are better, smarter, and probably more handsome than me, like Joel's OD, Fatal, Pest, not you. But they're all high elo, immortal, radiant, true tryhards. I'm down here in the slums. It's like asking a rich person how to stop being poor. They don't even know how much milk costs. But don't you worry. I'll help you guys out, and then you go watch them. And before we start, follow me on Twitter, goddammit. Number one. Don't fill. If you play bad on smokes, don't play smokes. Find a couple agents you really like and play them, which I'm sure you've heard this before, but let's take it one step further. Play someone useful. Watch some VCT or high elo players and learn who gets played, who's viable, and when. Initiators are always a good pick, they're really useful, and they're less popular than duelists, so you won't get your character taken from you near as often. You can still do good as anyone, but non-meta characters aren't as useful when you're having bad aim days, or when you're getting out utiled. If you think your aim is decent, I would suggest Chamber. If you like using util to help your team, try out KO Fade or Sova. Here's some agents to avoid. My last point on this topic is not playing Duelist helped me a lot because I'm not pressured to frag out, so it helps my mental to know I'm not expected to get kills, so I play a lot better. Editor, put two dudes making out right here. Number two, communication and information. If you aren't ranking up and you also don't use any comms, it's your own fault. Tarek talked about this on stream. You can play bad as long as you're still communicating. And if you're fragging out, you don't necessarily need to calm. But if you're not fragging out and not calming, just don't Q comp. In my opinion, you should always calm. Even if you're the only one talking on your team, it's better than no one. You'll have to be the one calling strats, put out your ideas, and see how they feel about it. Sound confident, like you know what you're talking about, even if you don't. You'll also have to be the one keeping everyone's mental up. People will put NT in the chat, but that doesn't really help, does it? it if someone actually says that's unlucky good try we'll get them on the next round it'll help a lot of people not dwell on it if you're the only one calming you should calm even if you're dead be careful don't backseat game just like locations of the enemy and stuff like that and as the great kn splash once said the mini map is going to give you more information than your teammates ever will so use it Number three, learn to adapt. I hear in Shane talk about this a lot and it was one of the points TN made in our coaching session, video coming soon. You have to be able to make decisions on the fly and change up how you play mid game. What works for you one game might be the very thing that makes you lose the next. You'll have to read the enemy and play off of them. If you're an aggressive player and the other team five man rushes you, you'll have to recognize that, play back and use you till to stall them. If you're a passive player and they take a bunch of space off you and get easy kills from behind maybe make sure you have util holding your flank or default to stop people from pushing you guys and catch them off guard this comes with time just see how the enemies play and make adjustments accordingly you should try to expand your arsenal and have as many options as you can that way you'll be able to adjust for any situation instead of being like every rain i have ever had and just w key onto site and die my last tip of the day, and probably the most important one, is don't tilt. This is super important. Make sure you keep that in your head, no matter what rank you are. Keeping your mental in line is absolutely crucial to playing good and ranking up. Basically, no matter what is happening in the game, you need to keep a level head. If you don't, it'll snowball fast. You'll become more and more upset and play worse and worse. If you're molding, your teammates will catch that energy and bad vibes and start to tilt too. Now you have a team full of Andrew Tate wannabes trying to show how masculine they are with Titan Steel coming out of their head and the accuracy of a stormtrooper stay calm and basically babysit your fragile teammates and it'll help you win games that's it like and sub bitches